Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope that you all are doing very well today. Um, as you can see, we are doing an apartment build today. Um, it is in the, I think, fashion district in San Myshuno. And if you look up at the top left, you'll see where it is built. I think it's Zenview Apartments. Um, it's the same ones that uh, the karaoke legends live in. So um, yeah, if you want to know where this was built, then that is where it's built. Um, yeah, I kind of just started building this apartment and I didn't really have an idea of where I wanted it to go. Um, I just kind of like put down the flooring and some, you know, basic white walls that I feel like you would probably get in a rental and that's, and then I just started building, just putting random stuff in and then I think it just kind of came to me as I went. Um, I think it kind of leans a little bit more like on the masculine side but like it can be for anybody like it, it doesn't really matter but yeah there's lots of like black and blue and um white obviously um and then some like lighter wood tones so that's kind of the color palette that um this build had but yeah um i really like the way that it turned out um i actually wanted to talk about <laughs> I can't believe that this is the first time I'm mentioning it, but uh, I noticed that we actually hit uh, 2,000 subscribers. We're actually over 2,000 subscribers, which is so crazy in like such a small amount of time. So um, yeah, I'm just so uh, grateful that you guys are here and enjoying the videos that I'm putting out. Um, so yeah, I want to thank you guys. And also um, I figured since we kind of hit a little mini milestone number um that i would do maybe like some kind of q a um so yeah i was thinking about doing that i think it would be i mean you can leave comments underneath this video for the q a um and i also might make a community post as well um and just kind of like compile all the questions if you leave one underneath this video then you don't have to leave one underneath the community post that i put up but um, yeah, I was thinking that I might do that and, uh, yeah, you guys can ask me any questions that you want to ask. Um, and then for the next video that I put up, I'll have a, um, obviously like answer the questions, um, in that video. So yeah, I guess the next video should be a little bit less rambly because it'll be, um, answering your guys' questions. So yeah, if you guys have any, uh, questions that you want to ask, then, leave them underneath this uh, video here. And then of course, if you want to leave them under the community post when I post that, uh, you can do that as well. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about doing that um, for that little mini milestone that we uh, hit. But anyways, um, as you can see in the video, we're off into the dining area. Um, I was gonna leave this portion open originally, like where the staircase kind of winds down into the like entryway. Um, I actually originally thought that I was going to kind of leave that open and spacious, but then I ended up closing it off and putting a an archway there because, uh, I don't know, I just felt like it, it looked better. I'm not sure if it does look better, like I kind of second guessed myself looking at the footage, but um, I don't know. Uh, you guys can bulldoze that wall if you want it to be a little bit more open, um, but yeah. I think most of like the downstairs is open uh, after that like entryway area. Um, it's just like the kitchen, the dining, and the living room all together in like kind of one area. But it is like um, kind of like sectioned off here in the kitchen a little bit. Like, and it has the pillar. I don't know. I just thought that it made sense just because of where I put the. Um, it's like a fence actually, like the piece that you see um, that's like dividing the like wood floor and the concrete that I put in the kitchen um, that like line that's going through to divide it is actually like a fence sometimes I get questions about that but uh, I think it's from the get to work pack and it uh, I think it's called like the low-lying fence or like shopping fence or something like that um, and yeah your sims can like walk over it I just use it as like divider for rooms so that uh, when the floor like transitions into another um, like floor type so like wood into tile or whatever it doesn't look as like jarring or strange uh but yeah that's basically how this area is kind of divided up um between like the kitchen and the dining and the living 
area but yeah and then I did put up that pillar <laughs> um I put that pillar up just because I thought it made sense for where I divided things up but it ends up being super annoying for like screenshots so um towards the end of the video when I'm doing screenshots you'll see like a picture that does not contain it because it was getting in the way of the screenshot and um some pictures that I want to use for the thumbnail so I ended up like deleting it but I do put it back um so it should be inside of the room downloads that um I included below um that's another thing too um with like apartments and stuff in this game unfortunately it's super annoying and I have to do it like room by room if you've downloaded apartments before um for this game then you'll know how that works but basically you have to like click a room and then like add it to your library and then you can put up just like that one room you can't do like an entire apartment which is super annoying and they never fix that <laughs> but um yeah so when you get this apartment it's kind of higgledy piggledy for some reason i don't know what happened in the process of building but um all of the rooms are there i think the upstairs is all one room i was able to get it to be one room but the downstairs obviously is kind of like divided up a little bit more um, and it does count that kitchen area where it's divided off of the low fence as like its own room. So it's a little bit, um, you know, extra pieces um, other than just having like one big room, which is kind of annoying, but I hope that it's not too troublesome. Um, but I thought I would just like let you guys know that. Um, we're in the living room now and I'm just kind of putting little things here and there I put in this little bar cart that is functional so um, you don't have to have like if you're sims in the bartending career or something like a mixologist um, they can like practice mixing drinks and things like that for their job and not have to have a giant bar just like in their apartment which I feel like is kind of unrealistic unless you're you know an affluent sim so yeah I like using that bar cart um, just so your sim has somewhere to do their mixology skill without having like this massive um like bar area but yeah that's super handy and um i'm just kind of putting little decorations here and there for that i actually really like how this like living room turned out i think that the living room and maybe the office are my favorite like places like rooms in this apartment um Technically, this apartment does have two bedrooms, but I made the second bedroom a an office area for the sim. So I was kind of picturing, like, I don't know, some some dude lives here and I think he's like out of college or something like university um, within like a couple of months. So like he's like recently graduated and I think he's like got this nice apartment and um I think I was picturing like some kind of like architecture career for him so like um in the office space I think it kind of like looks like maybe somebody's doing architect work in there um but yeah so that's kind of like what I was thinking when I was building this apartment for like the personality of the sim who lived here um or like just like I don't know what they like to do and what kind of sim they were but um yeah it was like a single bachelor architecture um, guy that just like lives in this apartment so that's what I was thinking you guys can do obviously whatever storyline that you want to do but that's just kind of where my head was at but yeah I really like the way that this space turned out I was gonna put like the neon lights just here but yeah um I was gonna do that and then I decided not to and I went with like the warm lights I do want to play a little bit more with like um neon lights um in a build so maybe I'll do that at some point um, maybe like a gamer's like apartment or a gamer's room or something like that um, where I can play with some neon lighting but yeah I do put these like shelves back here from the living room pack um, but I don't I didn't really like the way it looked so I end up going for the shelving from the MCM pack from uh, Pure Sim and I really love this shelving I don't know I've, I've used it so much in the past and I don't think I've I, as far as I recall, I don't think I've actually used it um, like in a build before. So, but I used to use it like all the time, just like when I was building for myself. 
Um, but yeah, I haven't used it recently and I don't think I've used it in a build. So it's nice getting these pieces out again and playing around with them. I really like the way that it looks. Um, yeah, just like this whole room. I like the way it feels. It feels nice and cozy <laughs> um, and relaxing. So uh, I actually put the, um, if you look in the like entryway area, I have like sort of like a console where they probably like put their shoes or something, extra storage. And I do put those underneath like this book case, I don't know, bookshelves? Yeah, it's like shelving, but <laughs> underneath the bookshelves here. And I really like the way that it looks. Um, I've never done that kind of combination before. Um, sometimes I'll m like mix and match CC pieces to get like a certain look or to make it look like it's like a, a um, what's it called? Like a dining cabinet or something. I'll like mix certain pieces together. I'll do that even with like things that aren't CC just to make it look like a different piece of furniture, especially, I think especially if I'm not using CC, I'll do that just cause, um, you know, if you're not using CC, sometimes you'll find yourself using the same kind of like objects over and over again. So I try to get creative sometimes and, uh, mix and match certain things, but yeah, I do put those like console tables underneath the shelving and I like the way that it looks. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I didn't have a very good sleep. <laughs> so my voice is very crackly and I apologize for that. Um, yeah. And my brain might not be a hundred percent functioning, but I am trying <laughs> anyways. Um, we are in, I think, are we in spring? I think it's going to be spring. Isn't it like March 18th or something is like the start of spring? Um, but yeah, it's, it's basically spring in my mind. <laughs> I've decided it's spring. Um, it's definitely warmer where I am. So, uh, that's nice. I get to see the sun a bit more than I was seeing it before, especially like in Canada. It's like, <laughs> you don't see the sun that much in the winter time. So, um, seeing it out and about is really nice. And yeah, I've been enjoying having the sun streaming in but I do have yet to kind of you know be outside and enjoy the weather um we've had a couple of warm days so I should probably do that and get outside um yeah how is it where you guys are is it like getting warm is it still blizzarding where you are or you know is it always sunny where you are let me know in the comments below but anyways, I think we're doing, oh yes, we're doing this little uh, bathroom to the side here. Um, I feel like I'm not very creative with this apartment when it comes to like the layout because I always tend to uh, put like the bathroom here, which it, where, la la, <laughs> which is where it is originally um, when you come into this apartment, this is like a bathroom area, but it's just like the perfect size for it. Um, and I don't know what else you would really put in this area that would be that small unless like you put like a laundry room or something but that's like practically like a bathroom um but yeah I don't know so I put this in um in here and then I put the uh like yeah this brick here I really like that brick um I think I got it from S for Zinda First for Zinda? I don't know how to say it, but um, yeah, I got it from their um, Tumblr. So I really like the colors that come with it. it they, there's a lot of colors, so it's going to be very handy for builds <laughs> in the future. Um, anyways, we're out here on the balcony area and I'm just kind of putting, you know, basic stuff, some seating, a plant in the corner and a barbecue. I think that the sim, like when I was building it, I was thinking that they like to entertain people. So um, I think they have like a lot of friends that they made from like university and stuff like that. So they, they'll they have like, I don't know, barbecue days and stuff like that. And then I just put like a little <laughs> um, punching bag out there. Um, maybe he like works out in the balcony and like uses the punching bag. I don't know. So I just wanted to like put something out there and I didn't think the sim would be into gardening. So that's what I put out there. <laughs> um, anyways, we're upstairs now and we're in the bedroom. And I think for the majority of the bedroom here, 
Um, I use Pierre Sims David's apartment stuff. So I think it's like from, I, th I think this is from one set. It might be from two, but um, yeah, part of that like whole like David collection set. Um, and I think the bedding here is from my Shuno son, I believe. So um, yeah, I really like the bed frame. I like those like really cushiony looking like soft <laughs> like bed frames. Um, Pearson made another one. Um, I think it's called like the Calderone set or something like that. And it's really like plush looking. I don't know. I really like those bed frames that are like plush and like kind of fabric-y. So it's like not like a hard um, like a head rest or whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think I, I associate them with like luxury for some reason. I don't know how expensive they are in real life, but that's kind of what I think in my head, but they look so comfortable and cozy, but yeah, I'm just kind of cluttering things in the closet here. Um, I didn't make it closed cause obviously like your son wouldn't be able to access it if I put a wall around it. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like open and, um, I like it. I think it it suits the space. Um, yeah, I would like if it like. I wish we could have like a wall there and then like an archway and then it would still be accessible to Sims. I especially want that for like laundry areas and things. Like, um, if I'm building an apartment and I have like a want like a laundry like the stacked version of the laundry um if i could put it like in a one by one room and then just have like an archway but it'd still be accessible that'd be really nice but it doesn't really work that way so i usually have to make like at least a like one by two room and then have it on one side and then the sim can walk in and be able to access it but yeah i don't know i think i would like more like walk-in closet type things like that um yeah, we have that wardrobe system from, um, what's it called? Dream Home Decorator, but, um, like, with everybody else, it annoys me that the, when the walls are down, you can't really see it, which I understand was probably just for functionality and, like, being able to, like, see your sims and stuff like that, but I would have rathered being able to, um, you know, see it when it's up, <laughs> Cause then you do like all that decorating and putting all the stuff in there for like no reason. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I like the way this room turned out. It has a little bit of clutter that looks like he's been throwing some stuff around and, you know, changing and living in there. So I like how that turned out. And then we're off to this bathroom. There's actually two bathrooms upstairs. Um, so this is actually a three bedroom or three, not three bedroom, three bathroom apartment. So there's like the half bath, I guess, downstairs because it's just like the toilet and the sink. And then upstairs, there's two like full bath. Um, so yeah, um, I use this set by Peacemaker. It's the Hudson bathroom set. And I used to use this all the time. Honestly, like because I was kind of more of an alpha player, um, like back in the day, like a couple of years ago, um, I used a lot of like Peacemaker stuff and it's not even really like super alpha, but I just like maybe like some of the earlier stuff is, but it's all the textures were, are always really nice by Peacemaker. But yeah, I used to use pretty much like exclusively Peacemaker items um, and I don't use it as much anymore, but I use this bathroom set um, in here and I really love it. and. It's rekindled my <laughs> want for um, putting Peacemaker sets in my build. So I'll probably do more builds with um, some of their sets. But yeah, I really like this bathroom set. It comes with the, like, the clutter that you see on the shelf there. Like I think everything in here besides like the toothbrush and like the razor thing that I just put down on the sink, like everything else is from Peacemaker and it's just really nice. <laughs> I like the way it looks. It can build your own like industrial looking showers with like the doors and everything. It just looks really nice. It's it's a good set. But anyways, um, we are in the office area, I think I'm going to do now. Yeah. Um, and I put the brick in here. I just couldn't resist putting this brick in here. And I don't know if it really makes sense because the outside of the building um, in this like district is not this kind of brick. Um, but who cares? <laughs> it's for the aesthetic. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just do a little area in here that, um, 
I don't know, may maybe like a, an office for somebody who's doing architecture stuff. I have like the big like scroll paper things in that basket there and then like a drafting table. Um, so I think that he does his sketches or whatever there. And I put like those photos up that have like blueprints of stuff. I, I literally should have gotten the blueprints that come from, I think it's like the university pack. If I'm not mistaken, it comes with like blueprints and I did not put them on the wall, but that I probably would have suited the space better. So that kind of sucks, but <laughs> it's too late now. Um, but yeah, and then I used um, for like this desk area, uh, the study blur set by Picard Sims. Um, yeah, it's a really nice set. It comes a lot with a lot of like stationary stuff and pens and and pencils and just a whole bunch of like stationary stuff. So um, it's a really nice pack and it has um, computers and like little like headphones and stuff. I didn't put one on this desk, but all the little like clutter items are really good. I was thinking about maybe doing like a university student's um, apartment or like housing or something like that because I think it would suit that pack really well um but yeah and i just put like a shelf in here and then a little chair to read on or just like to talk with someone <laughs> um if they were like visiting you because that happens to me all the time with my sims they'll be on the computer and then someone just comes and like starts talking to them so <laughs> having a chair there could be handy so um they can have a conversation or whatever uh but yeah i think i put um a washing and drying machine inside of this second bathroom um up here so there is laundry in this apartment um but if you hate doing laundry then you can just delete it um because i totally get that if you don't want to have that um but yeah then i just put a couple of decorations in the hall here i think i just do like a carpet and a um what's it called an art piece <laughs> a painting and I think that's it. I think that's pretty much the entire apartment. But yeah, uh, the download link for the tray files and everything and the CC links and all that will be in the description below. And if you guys have questions for me, please do leave them in the comments so I can do a Q&A in my next video and answer some of your guys' questions. And um, yeah, I think that's it. And I will see you all for the next video. Thanks for being here and I'll see you later. Bye.